Hey guys, in this video we will be talking about CSRF attacks. CSRF means cross-site request forgery. There's a there's a page on Wikipedia where you can find more information about these kind of attacks. Uh, they also tell us that this is um, it's also known as a one-click attack or session writing. So basically, on the website, I'm just let's say it as an example. You have a website and you have different kind of forms on your website. You have a form. I mean, and these forms are available to authorized users. So there's a add blog post form, where there's a, a form to add comments, where where the user can change the users can change their pot their passwords, uh, where they can add reviews or any kind, any other kind of form. So here in Wikipedia it says that it's one click attack, which means there is a hacker or there is somebody who who knows about your form, they know the structure of your forms and they they can generate a, a link, a, they can generate a, a URL and after that they can send that URL to your users. So if somebody from somebody from your users click on that URL, one of these forms from your website uh, will be submitted and that user won't even realize that they submitted the form because this kind of, the way it works is like redirection stuff. So if you go here in Wikipedia, you will see different different other examples on how this CSRF works. But in in this example, in this video, I will show you how to secure your forms from your from your website against these kind of attacks. <clears throat> so basically, this form, what we should do is we should check uh, each form submission from where it comes. So we should allow um, the information on our on our website that comes from the form submitted on our website. So whenever somebody submits the form, we should check is this information coming or was this form submitted on our website or it, it comes from a different from a different website. In order to do that, uh, we should start a session on the server and insert a unix string in the, um, in the session on our server and then to output that string in our form here. So if we inspect this form right now, you see form here, I have my name field, password field, and then there's another hidden field, uh, which is the CSRF token here. If, if you see the name here, the name value, and then there's value, and this is a um, string here. Well, I have this string in the server, on the server, in the server session. And whenever I submit this form, I send this session to the server too. And then on the server side, using PHP, I check, is this string from, from here equal to the string from my server session? If it is, then it means that the user submitted this form from my website. It's not coming from somewhere else. So let's go ahead and, and create this one. Um, it's pretty easy. It's just an example using two fields here, but you can use it with any other forms you can have any, as many fields as you have any any kind of data on your form so i'm working with exam and my main folder is htdocs as you already see here i have a folder which is csrf i'm just going to delete this file from here so create a folder i have a folder here uh, csrf and then in this folder i'm going to create another PHP file, but I'm gonna do that using my Atom editor. So click File, Add Project here. From my htdocs, I choose my folder, select folder, and then here right click New File, name it index.php, and here we will have some HTML and some PHP. Everything is gonna be in the same file. And to get started, we should start a session here. There is a um, a native PHP function which is session start okay and this function starts a session on the server and then below this we have our HTML page so here is doc type HTML and the head section we have the uh, meta char set which is UTF-8 there is a title here I'm gonna choose a title for my page CSRF security and then in my body section, I will, I will have my form. And I will have two divs here. One is going to be div 
div id container and then another another one is gonna be div class um, let's do it login oops and now here I will have my form form action this form is gonna submit on the same page the method is gonna be post and then here I have I should have two fields one is gonna be input type text name is gonna be name you can choose any name you want here and then the second one is gonna be the password the third one is gonna be hidden and then the name is gonna be CSR CSRF and then I will have a value here and I will insert the value later but for now there is gonna be another I'm just gonna remove this one from here and here we will have another in type this is gonna be the submit button wait enter okay so as I say I save this file if I go back to my local post and and type in here CSRF I see that I have a form here now I'm gonna center this form so here in my head section I will have a little bit of CSF so I have first my container ID and this is gonna be 100% width and then I'll have a margin margin 0 and then it's gonna have a background color it's gonna be white and then the second one is the class which is the login class and here I have display table and then margin 0 auto okay and then there is heading I put 20 pixels here and then the border I had a border there I guess was 5 pixels solid and then make it a little darker so if I save it now and open my browser and refresh the page you know this form changes a little bit now I want to add placeholders here I forgot about placeholders okay placeholder for my name and then a placeholder for my password Okay, save it go back and refresh okay looks good if I inspect it here I see that this this is a third field which is hidden I have the name of it CSRF but I don't have a value now here we will start writing some PHP code in our login class okay so here I will have an if statement and I will check here if there is any data in my in, a, in my post method and if there is any data in my post method it means this form is, um, has been submitted okay and I will have now three variables one is gonna be for the name and I will assign I'll have a need statement here to I will check if there's any data assigned to my name post variable then I will assign it to the name variable so there is post name and then I have let's see. okay if there is in if this name variable is empty then I don't assign 
Edit, edit, edit. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna have two more variables. Second one is gonna be for the password. And then the other one, the last one is gonna be CSRF. Okay, looks good now. And now below I'll have another if statement. So after I check all this stuff here, basically here I check if there is any stuff in, is there any data in my name a variable from my pass method, then I assign it to the name. If there is, if this variable is empty, then I don't assign anything. And then below I have another, I double check it. So here I have another if statement. If it's different than empty, which means if there is any data in, in my name variable and if there is if there's any data in my password variable and if there is any data in my CSRF variable Then here, I want to check this session from here with the session from my server. So you see, I started the session here, but below I get into this stuff from here. You see, all this code is going to run only after I will submit this form, only after I will hit this button, because whenever we hit this enter button, this file is being uh, reloaded again and it's been reloaded and it has in the post method some data this kind of data okay so if there's anything in the data it means um, according to this if statement all this code from here is gonna is gonna be compiled and then here below we will have another variable token and i will assign a unique uh, string to this variable so i will use md5 uh, codification unique ID, this is uh, the, all, all these are native PHP native functions. Okay, and then after that, I will just assign this string to the server session. I will have a session which is going to be CSRF <coughs> and I assign the token. Okay, and then after that, <clears throat> um, I want to output this token in my hidden field. Okay, there's echo token. All right, I'm gonna save this file, open my browser just to check if everything works fine. So I see here I have my name field, password, and then there's the CSR app field, which is hidden, and then I have this value here. Whenever I refresh, this value ch changes. Okay, now let's go back to, to our if statement here. So, is, if all these fields are, are not empty, you know, all of them have some kind of information assigned to them, then here we wanna wanna write another if statement and here we check if the session from the server it's equal to the csrf variable which means if the session from the server it's equal to the session from the form here after submission then we want to output an echo here and say welcome and also we want to unset the session from the server so we will be able here we will be able to assign another token to the session and then of course I'll put it here in the form in the hidden field so unset session uh, CSRF okay so let's see if this is equal if not 
then we want to output here csrf attack some something like that okay let's save it let's go back let's open the browser if we click enter it doesn't happen anything it doesn't show anything because that's that's how it is right now here this code runs only if uh, there's you know only if these fields are not empty so i'm gonna insert here admin i'm gonna set a password hit enter and i have welcome but there's a uh, undefined variable session in the 34th line let me go to 34th just misspell it here like that save it go back refresh this page you know and it tells me that csrf attack because um the session from here didn't match hit enter admin enter welcome if i refresh this one more time you know the session on the server changed already but in my form when i refresh it i still send this the old session that's why it shows me right now um csrf attack but look i put admin and then i choose a password and then here from my session field if i change this session you know just delete and replace some of the characters and hit enter it tells me csrf attack because the session from my form with the session from the server don't match so this is one of the ways on how you can secure your form also if we enter for example admin and uh, let's inspect it and i can also delete the entire entire field from there and just hit enter nothing happens because you know because this if from here it's not true any it's not true anymore because it's missing the csrf value from here so this is one of the ways um, you can secure your forms on your website uh, it's a basic example but you can use this strategy on on different kind of forms as I already said before um, I hope this was useful for you guys if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments um, subscribe to my channel like the video and I'll see you in the next one